Can you really learn to experience orgasms? What is the influence of the perfect body culture on erectile dysfunction and sexual anxiety? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Yes, many women can learn to experience orgasms through exploration, communication with their partner, self-awareness, and sexual education. The key is understanding one's body and personal needs. The perfect body culture can contribute to sexual anxiety and erectile dysfunction by creating body insecurities and unrealistic pressures. Constant comparison to beauty standards can negatively affect self-esteem and the ability to enjoy intimacy. Influence of pornography. Excessive consumption of pornography can influence perceptions of sexuality and contribute to the onset of problems like premature ejaculation by setting unrealistic expectations about sexual performance. Influence of technology on sexuality. Technology has changed how people experience sexuality. Online connected applications and sexual toys are examples of how technology has integrated into modern sexual life. Integrity and honesty. Honesty and integrity are qualities that many people find attractive in a partner. Reliability and transparency are valued in a relationship. Intensity and passion. For some women, sexual positions involving a higher degree of intensity and passion, such as the screw or acrobat position, can be especially exciting. Intimate contact favoring positions. Some women enjoy positions that promote intimate and direct contact with the clitoris, such as missionary with a pillow under the hips or the spooning position, increasing their chances of reaching orgasm. Kama Sutra in Contemporary Art. Contemporary artists use the Kama Sutra as inspiration to create provocative artworks that challenge social conventions and explore sexual diversity. Kama Sutra in Sexual Education. Some educational institutions include the study of the Kama Sutra in their sexual education programs, recognizing its cultural and historical importance in understanding human sexuality. Carezza is an approach to sexual intimacy that focuses on emotional connection and mindfulness rather than orgasm. This practice promotes prolonged and deep sexual relationships based on the idea that controlling arousal can strengthen the connection between partners. Kink culture, BDESM, bondage, discipline, dominance, submission, sadism, and masochism is a sexual subculture involving consensual erotic practices and games. For many, BDSM is a way to explore fantasies and boundaries. Lasting memories. Memories of satisfying foreplay can linger long after the sexual encounter ends, strengthening the emotional bond and keeping the spark of passion alive in the relationship. In rural communities in Latin America, sexual education workshops may be conducted by health promoters and community leaders, addressing topics such as family planning, disease prevention, and communication in relationships. Legislation and censorship. Pornography is subject to various laws and regulations worldwide, with some countries imposing restrictions on its production, distribution, and viewing, while others have more lax or permissive laws. Lifestyle factors. Factors such as excessive alcohol consumption, smoking, and sedentary lifestyle can contribute to premature ejaculation by affecting sexual function and overall health. Low-cost toys. While some sex toys can be expensive, there are also more affordable options available in the market, making sexual pleasure exploration accessible to a wide variety of people. Luxury toys. There are luxury sex toys made with high-quality materials, such as gold, silver, or even diamonds. These toys are designed for individuals seeking exclusive and luxurious experiences in their intimacy. Masturbation and menstrual cycle. 
some women experience an increase in sexual desire and frequency of masturbation during certain phases of their menstrual cycle, such as ovulation, masturbation, and vaginal lubrication. Stimulation during masturbation can increase vaginal lubrication, which can make penetration more comfortable and pleasurable during sexual intercourse. Masturbation. During menstrual cycle, some women find that masturbation can alleviate symptoms of premenstrual syndrome, PMS, and menstrual cramps by releasing endorphins and reducing muscle tension. Masturbation in the elderly. Masturbation is not limited to young women. Many older women continue to enjoy masturbation as part of their sexual life and overall well-being. Medical fetishism. Medical fetishism involves sexual attraction towards medical scenarios, uniforms, or instruments. This can include role-playing where one person takes on the role of doctor or patient, exploring the sensuality and vulnerability associated with medical care. Menopause and sexuality. Menopause can impact women's sexuality, causing symptoms like vaginal dryness and changes in sexual desire. Communication with a partner and medical attention can help address these changes. In Mexico, online and social media-based sexual education campaigns targeting teenagers have been created using language and visual content adapted to their youth culture to address sexuality topics in an accessible and relevant way. Mobile device consumption. With the proliferation of smartphones and tablets, more people are consuming pornography on mobile devices, making access and privacy easier. MRI studies. MRI studies have shown that the brain areas activated during orgasm are similar in both genders, suggesting that the experience is more similar than previously thought. Multiple orgasms. Some women can experience multiple orgasms in a single sexual session, involving one orgasm after another without a refractory period, enabling continuous pleasure. Myths about sexuality. There are many myths and misconceptions about sexuality that persist in society, such as the idea that masturbation is harmful or that virginity is related to moral purity, which can negatively affect attitudes and sexual behaviors. Natural sense. A person's aroma, including their natural scent and chosen fragrances, can also influence attraction. Scent chemistry plays a role in physical attraction. No relation to sexual orientation. Engaging in anal sex is not related to sexual orientation. Both heterosexual and homosexual women can enjoy this activity. Nonverbal communication. During foreplay, nonverbal communication, such as moans, whispers, and body gestures, can be as important as words to express desire and pleasure. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.